everybody, welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my August favorites. Now, I feel like August has been a really, 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 really long month for me personally. And I'm sure all students probably feel that way. It's just been so crazy and chaotic. And there's so much to do before the term ends in a few weeks' time. So, <sighs> yeah, let's just get into this video. So as always, we're going to start off with the face, and the first product I'm going to be talking about is my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the shade Medium Deep. My two favorite colors from this palette, I love the palette as a whole, but my two favorite colors is this orange corrector shade, I think this is called Burnt Coral, and then this um, Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC42. I love this for concealing my under eye area on a daily basis, especially when I don't want to wear foundation. I always have dark marks, so I always want to cover them up. And yeah, this just this color and this texture blends into my skin so well. It literally looks like I'm not wearing anything under my eye area, which is amazing. And it blends into my skin really, really well. Um, so yeah, basically I think I'm like an NC42 complexion right now. But I'm going to stick to my darker foundations because I have so much pigmentation, so yeah. So the next product is this Yardley London Airbrush Foundation. This is in the shade Caramel Fudge. I really, really, really like this foundation. I think it's really, really nice for everyday use. And yeah, just the texture is really, really nice. It doesn't dry out your skin. It doesn't settle onto cakey bits, which I love. It's bomb. Next is the Yardley Dream Matte Mousse, and I mentioned this in a previous video, favorites video. I can't speak today, what's going on? But yeah, this is in the shade Almond, and you guys can see how much I've already used. Like, it's insane! But I really, really love this specific um, color. This is in the shade Almond, and this is very, very yellow-based, and I love yellow-based foundations, because I feel like it just brightens up my complexion. I'm obsessed. I love this foundation. One more can I say. Now we're gonna move on to highlighters and I have like three highlighters that I've been reaching for the entire month literally and we're gonna start off with the Beauty Treats bronzer. I think this is in the shade medium tan if I'm not mistaken um, but this is supposed to be a sun bronzer for the face and the body but it is such a stunning bronzer shade like I literally bought it because I was going to use it as a bronzer and then when I swatched it I was like wait no this is definitely 100% a highlighter can you guys see that like it's so pretty and it's so pigmented oh my god I'm gonna blend it out of it so you guys can see the color a bit better it's so so pretty um if I can describe it I would say it's like a bronzy a bronzy champagne highlight shade with like gold flecks in it it's just so pretty and like I'm obsessed this was actually on sale at Discam for about 35 Rand okay next we're gonna move on to another highlighter yet again and this is the Catrice high glow mineral highlighting powder now I've been wanting this for quite a while now because I've seen a lot of people like or I've heard a lot of people rant and rave about this um, if I have to give you my honest opinion, I would say that for my skin tone, this is a bit too stark. You guys can see, like, it's very, very stark. But on a day-to-day -day basis, for me personally, I like to use it as just, like, an overall flush of highlight, if that makes sense. So I go in with a very, very light hand and just dust that on the tops of my cheekbones, and it looks like a very, very natural glow, which is what I love about it. But... You can't really go heavy-handed with this specific highlighter because it is very harsh on darker skin tones. So yeah, you can make it work. Who says you can't make it work? And then, as you guys know, I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter for like most of the month. Let's get real. And if you actually look at it, it doesn't even look like I've dented it. Like, isn't that insane? But I really, 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 really love this highlighter, you guys. And I'm so happy I could get my hands on it. And I'm so, so in love with this highlighter. Like, look at it. It's like a goldy shade. It's like literally liquid gold. And then, another favorite of mine has been the Morphe Brushes 35N palette. I need to get it opened. There we go. And this is the, like, neutral. I feel like this is neutrals. 
give or take, more or less, okay? But I really, really like this palette because this is honestly like transition heaven for me personally. And it has every single transition shade and highlight shade and dark shade that you can think of. And I really, really think that this is honestly a staple in every makeup artist's kit, to be honest. Um, so yeah, these are all matte shades and I honestly love this palette so much. So my favorite lip products of the month have been the Colourpop K-Pop um, Collection Liquid Lipsticks. I got the shade Chi and I got the shade K. I'm obsessed and honestly my favorite formula of liquid lipsticks. Next we're going to move on to glosses and I've been loving the Catrice Infinite Shine Lip Glosses. I picked these up at a sale at Discam and I think I got them for like 20 Rand each which was like amazing but I really really honestly love these glosses they don't bleed on your lips and I do overdraw my lips a lot they don't bleed they don't start running into your skin or anything of that sort and I really really like these because they stay put all day and I don't know there's just something about the formula of this gloss that just makes your lips so juicy like they shine all day long. I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm sure you can tell. I'm obsessed. And then lastly, my favorite brushes of the month has been this 10 piece Kabuki brush set that I actually bought from an Instagram account called The Beauty Co. SA. I honestly, I paid like under 300 Rand for this 10 piece brush set. And I'm honestly so impressed with these brushes. Like I use the flat top Kabuki brush on a daily basis for my foundation. I love these brushes, they're such good quality. And yeah, these have been my favorite brushes. I'm sure you guys have seen in my past couple of videos, I've been using these brushes a lot. It's because I love them. And then lastly, I just wanna mention this quick thingy about my hair. I get a lot of questions about what color I have in my hair. And I actually had the Schwarzkopf Live Color XXL Ultra Brights in the shade 95 electric blue so this is what it looks like and i had just half a tube of hair color left which is why i decided to put it back in my hair because i was like mm, let's have fun with the blue one last time i don't think i'll go blue after this ever again but this honestly takes such a long time to wash out it says it lasts up to 15 washes but I would say it lasts definitely more than 15 washes. My first batch of hair color I had from about mid-February till I would say July. So how many months is that? March, April, May, June, July. So I would say four to five months. That's how long the first color lasted me. Um, but yeah, this is the color I use in my hair. And if you guys are wondering, I actually mixed this batch with conditioner, which is why it looks like highlights and lowlights. Because it's a little bit of green and a little bit of blonde and a little bit of blue. So, yeah, that's my hair story. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions, so I figured I might as well address it here in my August favorites. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, like my video, share with your friends and all that great stuff. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!